Hey, what is up? I wanted to show you a video or a little walk around of my Bronco. It's actually not that nice. 82 Ford Bronco 300 inline six with the granny four speed. It's actually pretty original. It's beat up and shit, but other than being beat up, like you can see the guy, that, some kid that I got it from had like trail rode it for like one time and destroyed the fucking body on it. Still looks pretty cool. I've been gone for like five months and well, I haven't done anything to it obviously and I left it pretty muddy. <laughs> the back seat's actually in pretty mint condition. Some of the plastic's broke. Today was the first time I started it five months and it cranked right up. Let's see if I can get it open. Oh God. Cruise control works. That little doohickey my thinger right there. Yep. Ooh, does it have oil? I started it and didn't even check. Ha! None! That's how we roll. It does have antifreeze in it though. I did check that. Battery cable's not tight. Yep, perfect. That door is always open for some reason. I just keep leaving it open. So here it is in all its glory. Well, it's not that glorious. Back glass even works. Kinda. That's the only thing that matters in a Bronco. Back glass working. Put the back glass down, I guess I should open it up. Yeah. Okay, she's not that watertight. Doesn't matter. Because the roof comes off. The only real rust in this thing is on both front wheel wells. Actually, I lied. There's nothing on here. Just that wheel well. But this one's pretty fucked up. Yeah, it's got a little dent or two. In Seattle uh, truck. This thing is, I would call, pretty clean under here. Look at this homemade hitch. It's actually really clean. This is all like just surface rust, I guess you want to call it. But there's no through rust, there's no big rot, there's no flaking on the frame rails. Look at that. Okay, I lied. There's one hole. Oh shit, there's two holes. I'm lying. I lied to you guys. It's still pretty good. Look at that. I even cleaned like the differential out where the frame and the front end and the differential meet. Yeah. And the brakes are pretty shoddy. Yeah. I didn't lie. This side has no rust. Yeah. Yeah, so there's nothing really spectacular about this truck uh, at all. I really can't glorify any of it. Like, look at the amazing. Look at that. Can you guys see that? Yeah. Tires are dry rotted and rock rash and all that. But I got new chrome lug nuts, though. That's what you really need. When your tires are almost going to pop when they drive on the highway, you need to put chrome lug nuts on. Oh, my God. There's my Bronco. There's nothing really special about it. Oh my god, that sound. You guys liked it? Cool. I don't know. I guess there's some Bronco fans. Some Bullnose... Bullnose Bronco fans. And this one's a glorious... Not really. I just said it wasn't glorious. This one is a... Well, it's kind of like a trailer truck. But for right now, it's my only truck. So, I am going to drive it less of like a dog. Look at him. Look at um. Kind of want to spice her up, give her some love. Bought some stuff. Now, nah, I'm not gonna do the brakes that need to be done. I don't need to do some of the wiring. Don't work. Only one windshield wiper works. Didn't change the oil or the fact that it doesn't even have oil in it. So, I bought a radio because the one that's in it is like you know, 20 years old doesn't actually have an aux cord. What? I went and bought me a nice fancy radio. And look at this. It even has RCA hookups. And those literally look like they're from 1940. And those speakers, yeah, they're doable. 
It's only got two speakers. It actually does have speakers right there, but they're not hooked up at all. Let's see. Whatever that is. Ah. Don't need a damn remote. Ooh. Looks about right. Yeah. Ooh, look how short it is. That's cool. Instructions. Look at that. Ox cord. Look at that. Blur turf. Look at the botchery on this. Oh, yeah. No worries. I'm going to reuse their creativity. I would say that's a win for butchery. Right there. Not too bad. <laughs> yeah. It's a little... Still moves a little bit. I figured out what the uh, the RCAs with the remote. Whoa! Go to this little hundred watt bridgeable amp. Go to that speaker and that speaker. But yeah, maybe I can get that to work. You know, I actually have four speakers. It's supposed to have the one in the dash, but obviously, just don't look at the hole in the dash but there's no speaker there. So it's just got the two door speakers. Um, oh no, that sounds pretty good. Let me switch it to something. I found out what that little doohickey thingy was. It was a microphone. Probably for the government to spy on us, but kind of fits right perfectly in my hole in the dash. Now it's ready to rock. Oh yeah, I found a, I didn't even notice this can of oil. Ah, oh, shit. It's empty. It had like 37 when I bought it. Whatever. But, I don't know. I don't know if it rolled over to 100 or not. But, I mean, the, the brake and the clutch pedals aren't worn out. So, it might be 40,000 miles on it. It could be 140. I definitely don't think it's 240.